Oh, Faith is micro. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where we stepped in that one. Um, yeah, and Dan does like to take his top off quite a lot. So, if you see him take his top off, it normally means he's getting aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> so, just be careful with that. Uh, I need to thank him, though. I need to thank him for organising an immense stag do last weekend, which many of the members in this room are uh, still recovering. Uh, I had lots of texts and voicemails this week, actually, just people not nearly knowing what day it was. Um, so, um, I just want to give Dan a little present to uh, remember this day, boy. Thank you, mate. Uh, well, I need to just thank a load more people. Um, I need to thank Jana for nipping over the other day with his tractor um, and spreading out a load of gravel. Where is he? There he is. Right. Smallest gun in the room. Right. Uh, yeah, nipping over his tractor. My DIY skills are pretty much close to zero, so uh, that, was pretty, that was pretty helpful. Rich and Tanya for putting up the marquee and doing the hog roast tonight, which they're already doing. Uh, to Sue, Joan, and the Murray family, um, at Lou Tranchoff for basically helping us get this day sorted out. Um, grandma Freddy got the other day. Wouldn't really have been right if I didn't choose my wedding shoes with, without grandma. So uh, we had a lot of banter in the shoe shop. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. That's her. She was only trying to find the right side. <laughs> and then I would like to thank you all for making the effort to come today. Like some of you have come from a long, long way away, um, the other side of the world, um, for our day. So I, re I really do appreciate this. To be honest with you, Joe and I, like I said all along, that the, the only thing we really wanted was for everyone, like you know, to have as many people there as we could for, for as long as possible. So um, thank you all for taking time out and away from, uh, from your friends and stuff, and family. So now I need to talk about my wife. So just in case you don't know how we met, um, I was actually introduced to Joe by our ex-boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We were at the gym, training, and obviously he never trained me since, but uh, uh, we were at the gym training and he said, oh, do you fancy coming to uh, the Woolsey Down pub for a, for a young farmer's evening? You know, and I'm a pretty, I'm a farmer. Uh, <laughs> I was dressed in my tracksuit bottoms and a uh, sweaty teenager after my gym session. Anyway, I met Jo. Uh, anyway, she um, she gave me uh, some chewing gum on the night, and um, I just said I was, I was just borrowing it. So anyway, I brought the chewing gum back. <laughs> <laughs> There's something blue and something foreign. There you go. Uh, but then anyway, so then after that night, I then um, I got a lift back. Home back to Launceston with uh, another one of um, Joe's ex friends. Right, so that was um, that was the next bit. So then I, I pretty much spent three months trying to convince her that she should go out with a rugby player and not a footballer. Right? Okay. Um, so actually, what I did is I actually borrowed a blue jumper from her. Again, because it was a way of me getting back in there again, so I want to keep this. So she has to see me again. So anyway, I brought that back. <laughs> There's the jumper. <laughs> there you go, it's time to that. Um, <laughs> yeah, then I used my best pulling tactics then. Namely, protein shake. I <laughs> like chocolate, so I left it on the front of the deck, front, front dashboard. My car, she, we had a party at Trafalgar one night, and she, she was. Woo by that, so that was a bit of chocolate protein shake. Um, and then I used to put on 50 Cent in GU, and any of you don't know what 50 Cent is, black American rabbit, right? So I used that. It worked. Um, so then basically, after playing hard to get for three months, I then thought, thought I'll string this out for a bit, so we can see what it is. Um, but to be honest with you, it was never, it was never really in doubt, um, although I did like to keep Joe. <laughs> After all, right, she knows exactly what to do when I get grumpy. She's like, Lucky, do you need carbs? <laughs> yeah, yeah, so she knows me well. Right? Um, and I'll never forget the moment we got engaged. Um, I asked Di and Graham for permission uh, back in about April 2012. Um, I got a phone call about two weeks later from Di. She was like, You never been alright? I said, yeah, yeah, fine. What's the matter? She said, well, have you asked her yet? <laughs> I said, oh, no, no, I just sort of thought I'd ask her then if I fancy it, if I want to. Is that ready? <laughs> uh, so, yeah, so then we, um, so off we went. I had, it, I had it in my mind when I was doing it, so we went to be on a little tour.
tour of um, Europe. We went to Croatia first. So anyway, we get to Croatia and I just couldn't wait to get rid of this ring. Like, it's just, uh, the, the, the responsibility is killing me. <laughs> so we're down at the beach, mucking about in the water. Yeah. I've got my rucksack and my iPad and, and I put it underneath my sun deck and we're out on the sea. And Joe goes, I really don't think you should be leaving your iPad underneath the sun deck. <laughs> I said, I was just thinking to myself, like, don't worry about the iPad. Like, <laughs> another thing in there that I'm not losing. So anyway, so we were just mucking, just mucking up at me. I was on one knee, and she said, are you on one knee? I was like, oh, this is stupid. But, you know, so, so anyway, we were walking back down the beach, and I had my rucksack on, and uh, I said, oh, I've got terrible sun cake, I have to sit down. So I sat down on the bench. I was just about to do to, to ask her, and this kid comes up with a football and starts bouncing it beside me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, we can't do this. So I just walk on a bit. I'll see if I'll be all right. So she's, she's really worried right now. We're abroad and I'm getting ill. So anyway, eventually I managed to, I managed to ask, come, pluck up the courage. I was pretty scared, to be honest. Um, and then uh, after I'd asked her, we were just kind of sat on the edge of the water. We were just sort of sat looking out to sea. And uh, this band started playing. I was like... There you go, all nice up as well. So that's a little bit about how we met and uh, that day in in, um, in Croatia that I'll never forget. Okay, so um, I think you've all agreed to be amazing today. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Yeah. I'll just yeah. similar, so we clash, we do clash, uh, we love her more and more every day, um, we grow closer, and uh, I'm, I'm really excited about our future together, and um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think the thing I like about, like, with, with Joe that we share is that we're, like, we are very impulsive, we're ultra competitive, Okay, so we get on well then we clash sometimes. <laughs> we, um, we both love travel. And yeah, we do share a slightly short temper. So. Um, but I would like just to raise toast to my wife. Okay. Which I'm proud to say. So yeah, it's a joke. Yeah. Right. Now I just need to hand over to Dan to do his bit. Like he does get a bit excitable, so just bear with me. He does get fancy mixed up with that. Hopefully, he looks. <laughs> <laughs> so, just, he looks, he looks not quite right. Just bear that in mind. 